As you can tell by the title and thumbnail of this video, I think the Lions continued to impress this offseason under Dan Campbell and GM Brad Holmes. Last offseason, I made a video regarding their draft, which did very well, thank you for that, and I loved what they did, bringing in Dan Campbell and immediately reinforcing the trenches. Now, did that result in wins? No, not at all. They went 3-13-1, but the team did show a lot of grit, grind, and most importantly, in my opinion, the love for Dan Campbell, that a team with not that much talent can rally around a head coach like they did and the culture he immediately brought with him was something really special to watch. Now the silver lining to that 3-13 in one season was without a doubt the last nine games. In their last nine games they went 3-5-1 and one, in five of those games holding their opponent to 20 points or less. And on the offensive side of the ball, we saw an entirely new offense when Dan Campbell took over the play calling responsibilities. It was far more up tempo and, in my opinion, better. So, what did they do this offseason to continue their momentum and continue to improve under the Dan Campbell philosophy of grit and grind? We are going to win the trenches. Well, they did not do much during free agency. They did re sign Charles Harris, which was great to me. He led the team in sacks last season. Kind of hopefully he can reinvent his career in Detroit after bouncing around for a little bit. That would be very cool to see. And what they did during the draft for sure gave him some help. Or more so, he's going to be Aiden Hutchinson's help. With the number two overall pick, they were blessed. They were lucky. I don't know how the Jags did it, but Aiden Hutchinson went to the Lions at pick two. The Michigan man stays in the state. I think he was the best player in the draft by far. And sticking with the defensive side of the ball during the second round, pick 46, the Lions selected DN from Kentucky, Josh Paschal which continued the we are going to load up the defensive line. We re-signed Charles Harris last offseason. We re-signed Romeo Okora. We drafted Alim McNeil, Levi on Wozoriki. And this draft, we're getting Aiden Hutchinson and Josh Paschal. I think there can be an argument to be made of when is it too much. But on the other hand, they are going to be unrelenting with the quarterback. Justin Fields might die in the next two two to two to three years as these guys develop he might die with the Bears offensive line being the way that it is but the Lions defensive line is so deadly Josh Pascal is one of those guys that plays with their hair on fire he beat cancer he is the Dan Campbell type of player getting him and Aiden Hutchinson in the same draft is already phenomenal and looking at the offensive side of the ball where Amon Ross St. Brown broke out at the end of last year they added Alabama wide receiver Jamison Williams in the first round after in my opinion one hell of a trade up what did they give up like 32 34 and 66 and they got a second round pick from the Vikings I think that was one hell of a trade for the Lions to begin with and in my opinion, they got the best receiver in the draft. That The speed that he brings alongside with hopefully they keep up the up-tempo offense next season. When he comes back healthy, him, him, him and Amara St. Brown are going to be a deadly duo. And sticking with the wide receiver core during for agency, they brought in DJ Chark for a cheap deal. I think that was a great pickup for them. I think what this Lions team did this offseason, they really continued to impress. They stuck with their guns. They have so many defensive linemen. I think it's an obsession at this point. The offensive line is secure. The wide receiver core, which last season was very bad heading into the season. Now they got DJ Chark, a bona fide stud in Amon Ross St. Brown, and Jamison Williams heading the team. Some people did want to see Jared Goff gone following last season, and as I don't really blame him, he's a bottom five, bottom eight quarterback. On the other hand, the Lions are really in no position to make a move for a QB. I was surprised when they passed up on the quarterbacks as much as they did. I thought for sure that 46 pick was going to be someone, but it wasn't. Pascal was a phenomenal selection. But they're sticking with golf for another season. I don't think golf's that talented, but I do think he's talented enough to man an offense that can win 7-8 games. Do I think the Lions will do that this year? 
most likely not but i do like what they're doing in the draft doing in free agency what they're doing with that defensive line is really 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 special how are they gonna pay all these guys in like five years i have no idea but but the havoc they're going to wreak on quarterbacks is going to be special to see with Hutchinson, Harris, Okora, Pashko, Awazariki, and McNeil. It's going to be really cool to see. That, like, that list of names just keeps going and going and going. On the offensive side of the ball, I talked about what they did this offseason. They still have young guys in TJ Hawkinson, DeAndre Swift. I like Jamal Williams a lot myself. And if the offensive line, if guys like Taylor Decker and Frank Ragnow can be healthy, then we're going to see a lot of cool stuff from the Lions this year. We are going to see legit improvement. I wouldn't get my hopes too high because I know some fan bases like to do that. I don't think Lions fan bases tend to do that, but I wouldn't get my hopes too high. But I would expect to see a lot of improvement and a lot of times this season where they impose their will on opposing offensive lines. Now, their schedule's not that hard. I don't have it pulled up in front of me, but I was looking at it last night. Their schedule is not bad whatsoever. If they can go out and win 7-8 games, that's a phenomenal season for the Lions. And with Dan Campbell at the helm, I would not put it past them. Now, I personally don't think it happens, but I'm not going to put it past them. Hard Knocks is going to be great to watch this year. I'm excited for that. And I just think the Lions finally have a culture. They finally have an identity. They finally have a plan. And with Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes, within the next two, three years, I think we see them as a legit playoff contender. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you didn't, comment something like I'm a fucking idiot. And if you want to see more off-season reviews, season preview stuff like this, subscribe. I'm going to try to do these once every two to three days. And, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed and have a great one.